Hi, Dr. Lisa Thompson of DrLisaMThompson.com. And if you are in the home business industry, whether you are in affiliate marketing or network marketing, I want you to pay very close attention because I'm going to share with you two things you must not do on your Facebook personal profile that is going to hinder and hold you back from results. Okay, the first thing that you must not do is put anything, have no mention of your company that you are promoting, the logos or products or putting links of those products into your Facebook personal profile. You do not want to turn your personal profile into an online advertising message board, okay? Because what this does is that you're not going to have people reaching out to you. They're just going to ignore you. Because what happens when you do that, what people are going to do is if they see anything for, a, they're going to be looking for a company name, logo, information. And then what they're going to do is they're going to go to three places online to find more information. Google, Amazon, and eBay. And then what they're going to do is they're going to be finding out what are the bad things about this product or your service or your business. And they're going to read the bad reviews. And that is going to put up a level of resistance. And they're going to want nothing to do with you. The other reason that you don't want to be putting up your company links is that so many companies, especially in the network marketing space, they don't last very long and they go out of business. So if you're affiliated with that one company and they go out of business, you know, what's going to happen? They're going to be like, oh, you're, you were with another one. What happened to that one? Okay, you're with another one. That one went out of business. So you want to be very careful with who you're giving your links to. And that's why it's so important when you are on your Facebook profile that you're creating curiosity posts, you know, where you're mentioning things, where you're giving a shout out to your, your friend who, you know, just started working on her health and now she's lost all of that baby weight from having her first child and her husband can't take his eyes off of her. Putting something like that because then people are going to be, oh, what are they doing? Then they're going to be commenting on your posts and saying, well, what are you, what is she doing? Okay, then you can ask questions and then if you've qualified them, once you qualify them, then you can start giving them the link, seeing if they're open and giving them an out. Okay, but in the meantime, do not put up your company links. Secondly, you don't want to copy what the top earners are doing. Now that seems counterintuitive. You know, when you're first getting started and all of a sudden you see like a top leader in your space and you look at their posts, all right, sometimes they might be doing product promotion, sometimes they're doing, they'll put something up and it gets tons of engagement, okay? One thing you've got to look at is, number one, you have to look at the content of the post. What are they talking about? Okay, so if they're doing some sort of, you know, a promotion or a mumble to get people either to an event or to a webinar, or sometimes these top earners will put products, you know, on their personal profile where they'll talk about two-for-ones and everything like that. And the thing you got to understand there, the engagement that they're getting on that is because they built an audience already. Okay, they built their audience already, and a lot of them are going to be their team members commenting, not necessarily new pro prospects. So when you're looking at your posts, okay, I will assure you, when, when tap earners got started, all right, they didn't have a lot of engagement, okay? So you have to be looking at, you cannot be starting your business with posts on what the top earners are doing. They work their way up. You have to be more strategic in your marketing, in the, especially in the beginning. That's why doing curiosity posts are, are very, very powerful. If you're doing a Facebook Live, your first Facebook Live you should be telling people what you're doing, not mentioning your company, but telling them the journey you're going on and, and what you're learning. 
what do you hope to learn okay and then you have a call to action to get them to reach out to you saying hey if you want my notes on what I'm learning send me a Facebook message okay you want to be very strategic with this you don't want to you know try to be a, you know and putting out posts like the top earners are doing when you're first getting started okay because you have to keep this in mind you need to build an audience and engage your audience before you can sell to your audience so you have to be focusing on creating Facebook posts that are going to get engagement and getting people actually reaching out to you asking you questions about what you're doing so there you have it my friends I hope you found this video helpful today if you did leave a comment and share and if you're not on my newsletter I want you to go to work with dr. Lisa Thompson .com. Put in your best email address and I will send you my latest tips and strategies on how to build a full-time income while working only part-time. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.